Hi everyone, I'm Ritu Gill. I'm a co-founder of Forensic OSINT, which is a Chrome extension to save online content. So let's talk about why we are here today. LinkedIn. It's a site that can be really helpful for OSINT investigations. If you are an investigator and you might have had the need to capture messages on LinkedIn for your files. Some of you might wonder why would someone need to capture LinkedIn messages? One, we know things disappear online if we don't save them. Two, as an investigator, you may have messages from a witness. So you could be investigating something like criminal harassment and you've obtained a victim's login details um, to get access to some of those messages. And that's evidence that you want to be able to capture. So we have a feature that is part of Forensic OSINT that allows these captures to be done easily. Okay, let's do a quick demo to show you how it works. So what you'll have to do is filter for the person's name to eliminate other messages. So that's what you can see I've done here. So say I'm looking at messages between John Smith and Forensic OSINT. I've just uh, narrowed down to the communication that I've had with Forensic OSINT. Okay, and I'm John Smith here. So that's an example. And from here, um, you're going to click on Forensic OSINT and you're going to reload if it asks you to do that. And you can see here it's picked up that we're doing an advanced full page capture. Um, and from here, we're going to click on capture full page. So the capture is complete. We're going to review current capture in the case management system. Here we click on the capture. You can see the capture details. You can see the message was captured here. It has a hash value on each capture. And we're going to scroll down and keep looking. And you can see you can open these up and you can take a look as well. All right, we'll explore this new feature and other features of Forensic OSINT. Additionally, I'm going to give you a quick OSINT tip um, that I've used on LinkedIn for a number of years. So say you run a search and you're looking at a company and it says blank number of employees work there. Um, often what it will give you is just, uh, it'll say LinkedIn member, LinkedIn member. You can use a Google dork to identify those individuals. Uh, okay, how do you do this? Well, let's go take a look. So I pulled up just a university. I see that there's a number of people listed here. Um, you can click on that and you'll see LinkedIn members. So this is what I'm talking about. But what you can often do is you use that unique title in their LinkedIn. So such as this, and you can copy it. And what I would do is say site search colon link in.com and then that unique title in quotes and sometimes I would also write uh, in this case I would write SFU at the end uh, I'm not gonna do that search um, but if you want to do it you could go ahead and if you wanted to identify individuals of a certain company you're doing research on you can do that that way please subscribe for our next updates and if you haven't tried forensic OSINT yet today might be the day thank you so much for watching Take care.